Hey, what's up guys? Murder Coyote here, back with part two of how to customize your Hot Wheel. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to swap out the wheels on your car. Now there's actually kind of a lot that goes into swapping out the wheels on your car. There, believe it or not, there are actually different sizes of wheels that Hot Wheels makes, they're different lengths, and they're different widths. You can either pick an easy route and pick some wheels that are already the exact same size as what's on the car, or you're gonna have to get a little custom and make some parts and cut up certain parts of the car to make them work. I just wanted to give you a quick example of the different sizes of wheels that Hot Wheels makes. The size that are on this car are actually their smallest ones that they make and sometimes they'll put a small one up front but a big one in the rear. Here I can show you this is actually one of the bigger wheels that they make that they put on the back of a car. And then here is the same looking wheel, but it's smaller. You can see when you hold them up next to each other, how that this one is actually taller than this one, which leads into my next point, the width of them. Now here's an example of how the axle of a Hot Wheel can be different sizes. You can see that this one is a little bit shorter than this one. And sometimes when you're customizing a Hot Wheel, this one won't fit underneath the car because its axle needs to be longer like this one. And sometimes this one is, what is too big for your Hot Wheel and you'll have to cut it down to be that size. Now if you want to put a bigger tire in the back like this one, on a car like this where they're actually both the same size, you'll have to cut part of the car right here along the wheel well to make that hole bigger to fit this tire. Almost every time I've tried to do this, the Hot Wheel will not fit a bigger tire in the back unless you go through and actually cut the metal right here and kind of hone that out until it's a bigger wheel well. For this episode, I'm not going to get into that just because a lot of people don't have access to the tools to do that. And if you do have access to the tools to do that, you probably don't need me to tell you how to do that. Now we're going to open the car up. If you want to protect the paint of your car in this process, I suggest just getting a rag and laying it face down on the rag. Now underneath the car, there are two rivets. One here and one there. Some cars just have one, but most cars have two. I use two different drill bits to drill out these rivets. I use a smaller one. I use it to create kind of a pilot hole for the bigger drill bit. And I drill just enough down into this rivet that it's past the plastic part right here of the car. Then I come through with a bigger drill bit and actually drill the head of the rivet off. Here's what that looks like. Now that I've got a good pilot hole started, I'm gonna go ahead and get my bigger drill bit and drill the head of that rivet off. And remember, whenever drilling, it's not about how fast you're going, it's about pressure. This rivet didn't come out perfectly and I'm not going to act like every single one of my cars comes out perfectly whenever I try to drill out these rivets. But usually what I do now is there's still a little bit of a lip left on this, this top part of the rivet. I take a very small screwdriver and I pry it off. And that was what was left of the top of that rivet. Now the front is actually separated. Now repeat this process on the other rivet. Sometimes, if you've drilled off the rivets, you still have a little bit of a trouble getting this bottom plate to come off. Just stick your screwdriver in here, behind the wheel, Put it in and just slowly lift up. It should come right off. All right, now I have the car apart. And generally, 
on the older Hot Wheels, when you look down in here, there are three prongs there. On the older ones, you'll have to take a screwdriver and pop each one of those prongs up so that you can get the car's axles out. But on this car, the, they were already pushed up and I was able to just pull these wheels right out. And this is also pretty unique that this axle is shorter than this axle. And I couldn't find an axle even as big as this one in my collection that I've got. So I'm gonna have to make some custom axles just to fit this car. All right guys, that's actually where I'm gonna end this video. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own axles for these, whether you need to make them longer or if you need to make them shorter. I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, go ahead and leave it a like down below. If you've got any more questions about this process right here, go ahead and leave me a comment and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And for you car guys, make sure to keep an eye on the page. I'm filming some stuff right now of working on a project car with a buddy of mine and I'm gonna have some more content of my car up here soon. So make sure and keep an eye out for that. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.